Hello everyone and welcome back to IT Master Tech News channel. As from the last video, I have installed the elementary OS Hera on the Dell XPS laptop. Uh, successfully it was installed, it's running very smooth. Today we are going to try the same thing with the Deepin Linux. Deepin is distributed uh, Linux distributive, distributive which was created based on uh, Debian Linux and it will uh, its developer and uh, based on the Wuhan China let's get started so we are here on the my desktop we need the Rufus application and then the deep in 20 zero beta desktop which was downloaded from the deep in website you can go here to the deep in technology and here is their website and you can download it from here after you have downloaded it you need a rufus uh, and then select the deep in distributive and then hit start as i already did my uh, flash drive is ready and let's move on and install the, this on the Dell XPS laptop. So what we will do it here, we have the DPIN distributive already bootable uh, USB flash drive. We just need to install to the USB port of Dell XPS. And then uh, shut down the current or restart and then hit F12. This is the boot menu and this will bring us to the boot menu. We need to select from here USB storage and install deep in. Yes, we want that. And then wait for the installation to finish. It's simple. Every user can do this. And as you can see the deep in the logo. And let's see how it will work on this Dell XPS 13 inch laptop, which has a Core i5 CPU, 4 GB RAM and 128 GB SSD. This laptop is uh, already 5-6 years old, but it's uh, working very good. Let's wait and see how the process will go. As you can see, flash drive is blinking, which means it's reading. Okay, we are here now. We need to choose English because it's a Chinese, as I told you previously, this is uh, developed in Wuhan city. That's why by default is the Chinese. Make sure you have a block the important data, backed up and then install. Encrypt disk we don't need. Please select the disk to install. We need to this. Start installation. Format everything, it's saying that you will lose your data. Then we need to say continue and the process is started. It is a very well known distributive and I wanted to try on my Dell XPS laptop and understand how fast and stable it's working compared with the Windows 10. As you know, Linux distributives are very stable and very uh, user friendly and nowadays they don't have they have a very good uh, graphic user interface desktop environment and as you can see it's showing the developers and going the process let's not wait a time and i will come back later after it will reach the 100 percent stay well guys and coming back soon so we currently reached the 98% and I hope it will finish soon and we can see the first boot up of the deep in Linux based on Debian distributive. Hope it will go faster now, 2% left. It uh, totally took like something 10, not more than 10 minutes and the uh, installation is getting its final point 
I hope we will see it soon. Maybe 10, 15 seconds and it will reach 100%. As you can see, flash USB drive is blinking, which means it's reading some files from there and then processing on the local SSD. So, uh, installation shows the current features of this uh, DPIN Linux, what you can browse, what you can get, what you can have from these features. And it's uh, reaching to its final part. 2% are taking too long, but I think we are close enough to see the 100%. Yeah, we are now in 100% and that's it. Successfully installed. It says reboot now. We remove the flash drive and wait for the first boot up. Okay, we need to hit uh, enter. That's it. It's booting. Very first boot up. Let's see the experience of the D-pin. How it will look like. Okay. We need to select the sum time zone. By default, it's a Shanghai. Let's check, choose the list and find the Armenia if there is one. Tbilisi. Here one. We are here. Next, here you should put the username, password. Let me do it real quick. Name and password. And what is strange here, you cannot leave the password area blank as you can do in Windows. Tuning system, applying changes to your system. Please wait. And let's see how it will look like after the first boot. The process is going. I hope it will finish very soon because SSD will do its job and Core i5 CPU is not that much old. 4GB RAM is the weakest point of this uh, laptop, but I think for this distributive that that's enough. The laptop itself it's very similar like to MacBook Air, if you can see. From here it's made of aluminum and that's why it is very close to okay it's in let's type the password yeah we are in now to the deep in Linux distributive system this is something, maybe the demonstration video. Let's watch it. Deep in 12 Revolutionary design. And it shows its features. And doing some demonstration of the system. Okay, let's see what is next. Yeah, fashion mode, efficient, efficient mode. This is like performance and, okay, let's choose the efficient mode to have a good performance. And normal mode, without any effects. Bloom, Bloom Classic, Bloom Dark, Bloom Classic. Let's leave it as it is. So here is the final boot up. Let's see what we have here. Launcher. You can check the Chromium web browser there. Music, App Store, Album, Text Editor. Package cache wiped, notification came up. Computer, let's go to computer. System disk, data disk. This is created by automatically. 
computers in LAN, this is the network. As it is not connected to any network, we cannot see anything. Here we can choose the keyboards and the battery. Battery is not good on this. And from here we can choose power and then suspend, reboot, hibernate, logout or shut down. This is it. Guys, stay well, stay cool. See you in the next one. Hope you like this video and you can install for your old laptop and bring it to life. Thanks again for watching. Stay well, stay cool. Peace. Name and password and what is strange here, you cannot leave the password area blank as you can do in Windows. Tuning system, applying changes to your system, please wait. And let's see how it will look like after the first boot. The process is going. I hope it will finish very soon because SSD will do its job and Core i5 CPU is not that much old. 4GB RAM is the weakest point of this uh, laptop, but I think for this distributive, that that's enough. The laptop itself, it's very similar like to MacBook Air. If you can see from here, it's made of aluminum and that's why it is very close to okay it's in let's type the password yeah we are in now to the deep in linux distributive system this is something maybe the demonstration video Let's watch it. Deeping to Elni. Revolutionary design. And it shows its features. And doing some demonstration of the system. Okay, let's see what is next. Yeah, fashion mode, efficient, efficient mode. This is like performance and okay, let's choose the efficient mode to have a good performance and normal mode without any effects. Bloom, Bloom Classic, Bloom Dark, Bloom Classic. Let's leave it as it is. So here is the final boot up. Let's see what we have here. Launcher. You can check the Chromium web browser there. Music, App Store, Album, Text Editor. Package cache wiped notification came up. Computer, let's go to computer. System disk, data disk. This is created by automatically. Computers in LAN, this is the network. As it is not connected to any network, we cannot see anything. Here we can choose the keyboards and the battery. Battery is not good on this. And from here we can choose power and then suspend, reboot, hibernate, logout or shut down. This is it. Guys, stay well, stay cool. See you in the next one. Hope you like this video and you can install for your old laptop and bring it to life. Thanks again for watching. Stay well, stay cool. Peace.